What's going on kids? Want to do a quick video of the control panel uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how to navigate through some of the games uh, as well as talk about the customized uh, options that you can do here. Um, first and foremost, when you get this machine, do not make the same mistake that I did and just start plugging and playing. Um, I did that. I went into Dreamcast. I didn't know how to get out of the game uh, and I froze it. Uh, so when you get your machine, read the manual. Uh, it's got everything you need in here uh, from the basic startups, uh, startup questions, uh, all the way through the different systems, where the buttons are, what the buttons do, um, and it's got FAQs in the back. Uh, this thing's a lifesaver. Take 10 minutes, read it, you won't be disappointed. Um, everything you see here is fully customizable, okay? This is your machine, and I want to stress that. You're going to spend thousands of dollars on this machine, and quite frankly, you're going to have this thing for life. So you want to make it yours, and you want to make it what you feel is the best setup possible. So don't be afraid to email them a few times. Um, uh, get it right. Uh, if you don't like the basic four buttons on top, four buttons on bottom, you can actually kind of do the Mortal Kombat, where you can take the button seven and eight and bring them down here. Um, move the light, uh, excuse me, the trackball up, etc. So you can do any of it. Um, as you can see on my machine, I opted not to get the Tron joystick nor the spinner. Um, you can play Afterburner and Tron using the joysticks. If you really like the flight simulators, then I would suggest getting the, uh, the Tron. But for me, the spinner, Arkanoid, and a few other games, I, I don't really see the need for me personally. So... Um, I went ahead and I did without it. Um, volume control for your stealth and classic uh, cabinets are going to be up front. Um, and as you can see, it gets pretty loud. Uh, for your Mega Cade, if you guys got the big boy, uh, that's going to be on the bottom. Uh, so with the Mega Cade, you're going to have an extended control panel. It's going to come out a little bit further. So they put the volume control right there on the bottom. Uh, your power button for this machine as well as the classic, um, actually all of them, excuse me, the uprights, they're gonna be on top. Um, so right on the top, you just slap it and it turns on for your pedestal um, and your tabletop, it's actually in the back of the unit. Um, pretty awesome. So, um, so basically this is my layout. So it's got, uh, I chose a two player uh, with the obviously trackball in the middle and it's got the four way analog controller up here. Um, the cool thing about this is if it's actually placed to the left, then this becomes your four way with the player one, two, and three button, uh, dig, dug, Pac-Man. That's perfect. If it's pushed to the right and all the machines will have this feature, if it's pushed to the right, then it becomes your mouse with the left middle and right click, uh, mouse button. So that'd be perfect, obviously, for PC games. Uh, you can actually use it for pinball. Um, pinball buttons are on the side for the Stealth and the Cabinet, or excuse me, the Stealth and the Classic. Uh, for your Mega Cade, uh, the buttons are actually here. If you actually had the buttons to the side on the Mega Cade, your arms would be all the way out and you'd look like an orangutan. So that's here. But I'm, seriously, for the Classic and the Stealth, the pinball buttons are absolutely great. Um, so the way the buttons are laid out is that you have player one start and player two start. And to the right of them, you have the credit buttons for player one and the credit buttons for player two. Uh, you can actually just use the one credit button for both, uh, but they put that there in case you're playing a two player game and the guy wants to credit real quick and get back in, he can do that. Uh, for the joysticks, uh, again, it's an eight way. So it's not only up, down, left, right, but it goes diagonal on all sides. And the buttons are laid out one, two, three, button four, five, and six with seven and eight. Again, the seven and eight, if you don't like it here, you can put it down here, which I saw a few other YouTubers uh, who own this machine put it there. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, got the trackball in the middle. Um, and the cool thing here, guys, again, is, is when you customize everything, you can actually have the trackball moved up, 
You can have the analog moved over to the left, however you want it. Um, the one thing that you'll notice is that it's actually bolted with screws pretty much all over the place. And so what I've done is I've actually removed a few screws because as I'm sitting here playing, uh, you know, it's rubbing up on my hands and I, I don't like that. So I took a few out and it's still pretty stable, but um, when you get your machine, um, just kind of keep that in mind. You can actually get a, a smaller screw stud uh, and put it in there so it's more flush uh, rather than um, uh, as high here and it won't irritate your skin uh, too much. Okay, so right now we're in the Arcade Classics because I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to navigate through here. Uh, for arcade type games, uh, you're going to use the joysticks and you're going to use the arcade panel. And this is essentially, all this is used for uh, pinball, all the arcade games, uh, and all consoles up to N64, but not including N64. For the N64, Playstations, GameCubes, Dreamcast, and some of the newer games, you're going to need the analog controller. Okay, so it's always nice just to kind of keep the controller there. Um, if you get into a system and you need it, APP, great game. If you get into the system and you need it, um, all you do is obviously just hit the, the start button uh, and it will um, automatically uh, connect to the game. But it's always nice to kind of keep it here just in case you get into a system and you don't realize that you need that. Um, so again, we're in Arcade Classic, so it is gonna use the control panels um, and so one of the things I want to show you, to get out of a system, you're going to hold down player one and you're going to hit player two button and that's going to back you out. So hold down player one, obviously it's not working, there we go, and it gets you back out. So this takes you to the main wheel and you can use that to get out of any system you are. Again, player one, I hold it down and hit player two. So we're going to go ahead and get into Arcade Classics just to show you and I'm going to hit player one and that's going to get us into here. Now, there's two features for the arcade main games as well as Nintendo and Super Nintendo, and that's favorites and genres. Actually, favorites can be used for almost any system, but genres are only used for uh, the arcade games. So, player six button is going to be your favorites. And so, if you want to view your favorites, you just hit player one. If you want to add or remove, you also hit player one and it'll add it or remove it. Okay. So here we're going to go to view favorites and it's going to pull up all the favorites that I've selected for this game. Um, and you, again, you can do this for any system. Uh, and I, I recommend it too, especially with some of the larger systems like, you know, the arcade classic, the main ones, the Nintendo, where there's over a thousand games, you know, you'll get lost just, just trying to go comb through them. So take some time, go through the system, which is, whole hell of a lot of fun. Find the games that you want to play uh, and then just hit select. So again, you just come here to uh, button six, you find the game that you like, you hit the player six button, and then from here you can add it uh, or remove it if you want. And then to get back out, again, hold player one and hit player two, and that gets you back. So we're going to find Miss Pac-Man in my favorites. So I'm hitting player six. We're going to view favorites. And if you take the control panel, or excuse me, the control joystick and hold to the right, it's going to pull up uh, the letters, which is a whole hell of a lot easier uh, than combing through there and trying to find it. So um, it's, it's, it's breathtaking. So we're going to choose M and we're going to find Miss Pac-Man. And there we go. So to get into the game, you hit player one start. Uh, it's pretty cool. It tells you how many times you've played it, uh, how many times, how long you've played it for, etc. Uh, so to credit the game, you hit the credit button right here on the left. And that'll go ahead and credit, and you can put as many as you want. Uh, it's pretty much free play. So as you can see, the system for the arcade games, most arcade games are going to come with a bezel. Now, I love the bezel. I think it looks great. I think it's pretty, it's retro. It's how it used to be when we, and I say we older people, used to go to arcades and play it. Now, if you want to remove the bezel for any reason that you don't like it, you can go ahead and do that by holding player one start and pushing the player one joystick up. So player one, and that takes the bezel off. Now, 
it doesn't look very good, right? So I love the bezel. If it's got it, it's great. Again, to put it back in, player one, hold it down and push up. Most of the games are gonna have the bezel unique to the game. Some of the games will have just a generic bezel. Uh, but again, when you're playing the old retro games, it, it's definitely worth it. I absolutely love it. Now, for if you wanna change the button configuration to the game, sliders, etc., you can do that. Um, by going into the in-game uh, input uh, on the machine. So uh, just like we did with the bezel by holding player one down and then going up, to do the in-game function, we're gonna hold player one start down and hit the joystick to the right. Now that's gonna get you into how to, again, change the buttons. For any game that you're looking to change, you always wanna do this machine. If you do input general, it's gonna change all games to whatever you change it to. So always play with just this machine. Hit one player start, and you can reconfigure the buttons up, down, left, right. Everything's pre-configured for you guys. I recommend not touching this, but if you are tech savvy, which I'm sure most of you guys are, and you love to tinker, jump into it. If you're like me, <laughs> and you got this machine because you don't know how to do half this stuff, and I'm being completely honest there, uh, I wouldn't mess with this. So as such, I'm not gonna mess with this. So return to previous menu, hit player start, and then return to this machine, and that gets you back to here, player one starts, okay? So again, you can use this controller. That goes, it's usually easier for Pac-Man, uh, or you can use uh, the, the bottom joystick, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get out of this game, and push player one, and player two, uh, and it pulls you back up, um, and it's pretty sweet. So another thing that this does is, I said player six was your favorites, player five is your genre. So if you're looking for a specific game, and you go to say, HB main, and you get in there, you hit player f uh, button five, All right, well this one doesn't have it, but as you can see, it, if it doesn't have genre, it's gonna say cannot find genre, so we're gonna go back to the arcade classics. So hit player five, and that's gonna pull up your genres. So it's easier to search, again, when you have over two, 3,000 games per system. So all games, completed, parents only, and yes, there are some adult games in here. Uh, Leisure Suit Larry and some other stuff. Um, pretty awesome, actually. Uh, top 100. Games from the 70s, game from the 80s. So if there's a specific game you're searching for um, and you know it's in the arcade, you can do it this way. Or if you get out of the arcade classics, it actually has a search function. So you can go into the search function and you can actually pull up any game that you want. So say we were looking for Double Dragon. Um, player one is gonna be your enter button and then you just Pretty sweet, you just do double. Let's see if I can spell today. Say you don't know if it's double dragon, so you just put in double. It's essentially gonna search everything with double in it. So Danger Mouse for Atari or Amistad. Uh, and there's different games, different double dragons depending on the system. So you have your systems to the left, and then you have obviously your games here. And on the top, it'll show you how many double or games that match your search are per system. But if you just scroll all the way down, um, obviously you can find uh, the one that you're looking for. Uh, the Arcade Classics Double Dragon is obviously the best. You can select that. If you want to go Nintendo, you can do that. Um, same thing, if you want to back out from here, player one, hold down, hit player two. Um, yeah, and that's really it, guys. Um, that's all I really wanted to show you. There's so many options. There's so many systems in here. Um, if there's something you guys want to see, or you know, send me a message. Let me know. You know, again, this channel's for you guys. I wanted to see certain types of features, um, so those are the videos that I do. So if there's something you guys want to see, uh, let me know. Uh, it's got so many games, so many movies. Um, and like I said in my review video, you know, one of the really cool things about this company is that the software is free. 
So whenever they update uh, their systems with different games, newer games, etc., pull out your hard drive, send it to them, they update it for free and send it back to you. It's, it's great. And you have to think with almost 70,000 games now on this system, they're probably adding, a, 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 what, 500 games a year? At least, right? You gotta think with all the different games that are going, uh, there's just so much on here. So um, again, thanks for watching. Uh, if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. Uh, do me a favor, hit subscribe. Uh, that way I can you know, keep doing these videos uh, and my daughter will finally think I'm cool. <laughs> All right? I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.